Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com in the United States. Today I'm going to share with you how to stamp on canvas. This is just a plain cheap canvas. I done this one and then I done this one with the bling on it. So I have done that on a live Facebook and I just many people say can you shoot a YouTube. So I decided to do one for every day. I thought it would make a great gift for Christmas. So we're going to be using Beautiful Friendship and Country Home for You Are the Happy to My Day. These are, like I said, the very cheap canvas uh, that I get at the dollar store. This is the 4x6. They come three in a pack. It would be very um, you can make a lot for little money for gifts, right? Or if you do craft show or so on. This one here, the paper was kind of bent in the back. See, this was more uh, lovely. So what I done, if that's the case, you get some like that in your package. I cut a piece of cardstock 4x6, just a little bit shorter than 4x6, just to say so. Then when it's done, I'm going to mount that at the top there. Now, I'm using the Stamparatus, but due that the canvas is thicker than the paper, I'm not putting my foam mat there. I'm going to put it right at the corner. Uh, I'm going to do this way, I think. And I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to put, you make the epi to my day right there. So I'm going to start with this one. And the color that I decide to use today, I'm going to use the Rococo. Pretty Peacock, Seaside Spray, and Highland Heather. Okay, so let's start with the greeting first and then we can build around the greeting. I think that's going to be the easiest way. When it comes to the Stamparatus, I find it easier if I put um, in the back here. I'm going to need this too. In the back, so when I ink it's a lot easier it stay flat so let me move this here and I go right at the corner and that's why I'm not worried if uh, about the magnet for the greeting I'm going to use the pretty peacock and and the reason why I want to use my uh, Stamparatus it's because that um, canvas it's very rough and sometimes you don't have a good impression like this so so you can come back and go again and it's not flat in the back so sometime you're going to have to work a little bit I when it was a move a little bit I'm okay with that it's just give a little shadow so that part it's done I'm going to go ahead and wipe this here with my chamois. Now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to build our flower. I'm going to put the flower right there. And the flower, I'm going to put it with rose cocoa. I'm going to put this here. And this is the big flower. I'm going to stamp that there. And you see it's very rough. So that's why the Stamparatus come very handy. And I'm going to keep on doing it a few times. And then you're going to see what I'm going to do to make this bring to life here. Okay, what you can do, oops, take your Aqua Painter and blend this. So just put a little bit of water just that your brush is wet and then you can bring this to life here see and I don't care if I go in the center it's just going to give me a little bit more and then when it dry we're going to come back and give another imprint to that so this is going to blend it so the back of it is going to be very soft and then we're going to come back after it's dry and do another imprint. So I would go all here. So that's pretty good. So now 
I would have to let it dry or what we can do is take the heat tool and dry this up. And it don't take long to dry, okay? It's and the reason why I cannot move it to go to another section because I need to have the same position. So you have to do it by steps. So I'm going to come here. It's back there. Put it back on top. And see now you get your lovely definition right there. Let me do one more time. Et voila. I'm going to do another branch here, but I'm just going to do one so you can see uh, how it's going to be done. And then to finish, to see the finish of this um, masterpiece, I'm going to say, you right below you get the link. Now, right in the center, I get those, uh, oops, uh, I'm missing a piece. Is that in here? I sure oh and it's not I will find it because you get the bigger uh, piece I know it's filled someplace here uh, oh it's right here it did fill so I'm going to put this here and that I'm going to do that with the pretty peacock my seed in the center it's pretty peacock and then I get the little one right here. Oops. Oops, everything it's moving on me. One minute here. Here we go. Voila. And then I'm gonna go ahead. And then we're going to use this little, um, it's kind of um, lavender pretty much. Okay, let's remove this. And then I would build this. So, even if it's off a bit, that is okay. I would bring that with lavender. And I just noticed I'm going to need a green in this. And my green, I will use a pure pizzazz. Just one more of this here. And then when you switch it though, you're going to have to wipe it a little bit. If not, you can have very a big mess. I'm going to come, and you know what, we're going to put that right here. And if you want to put some that it's bigger on the side, I'm going to share with you how to do this. Let me do this one here. That's very good. Let me show you a leaf. So the one that don't um, color very good, you can use your aqua painter. Now for the leaves, let's put a leaf here. And I'm going to use Pierre Pizzazz. And again, so okay, now let's say that you wanted something at the top there, like I want those flowers right here. It would be, see it go off a bit. So what I'm going to do, then I'm going to use one of my magnet here. And the reason why I didn't put the, the way with the magnet, I feel that it want to move here and there. So I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to use the rope cocoa. And again. You know what? That worked pretty good. Now I would come back with this here. And I'm going to add right there so I'm gonna build this off like this that was with my uh, purpley that's the island editor voila now I would use more of my leaves some can come right here so I'm gonna build a big bush put it that way there 
and then I'm going to do another one at the bottom. But anytime that you want to bring more colors, that's what you're going to do. It's use the wash. When I'm all done, I'm going to use a sponge with the seaside spray. And I'm going to sponge all around to give a little bit of color on my canvas. And that's going to fix all the side that it looks like it's cut off. This is going to take care of that. So let me share with you how this is going to. And then I'm going to do another bunch of the flower at the bottom here. Et voila. So now you can put that on an easel or another thing that you can do when you're going to put your thing in the back, your uh, card stock, you can use, um, I'm looking with, okay, I'm going to use this one here, some ribbon and I'm going to share with you how to do the ribbon. So, and I won't do it right now because you want to do the ribbon just when it's completely done. And the reason why, it's because it's going to have bumps. going to put this here and put this there. Put, attach this here with um, the tear and tape or uh, glue, glue dot. And then when you're going to come to put your backing in the back, see, it's going to cover where you tie that up. Just make sure it turn out straight. You don't want to go right at the edge. You want to put enough ribbon in the middle of the back so it's solid. Et voila. Now they can hang that up on the, the wall. This ribbon don't go good with that. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use one of the new uh, ribbon and I think I'm going to use the real cocoa. Right now here I get the pretty peacock but I'm going to use the real cocoa with this. So again, to see the finished product, just visit my blog. Right below you get the direct link. I will have all the detail that I, all the supplies that I use. And that's about it for now, my friend. Till next time, happy stamping. Till next time, bye-bye for now.